G'day there, I thought I'd do another video this week just on uh, heat treating. So I've got some magna cut steel here and I'm going to do an experiment on how I can improve my heat treat results. Um, not necessarily the uh, hardness or the toughness of the steel, but the cleanness as it comes out of heat treat. So I'll run you through what I've got prepared. The kiln's warming up at the moment and um, I'll run you through the um, experiment that I'm going to do. I've prepared my steel packet, foil packet here, and my blades are ready for heat treat. I'm going to clean that up with some um, acetone and then uh, I'll put it in the bag. Some people put um, like baby powder or talcum powder in there, um, but I've heard of uh, people using uh, argon gas uh, in the foil packet to purge all the air out of there to keep things nice and clean. So I've um, done some investigation and uh, come up with a relatively cheap way to um, attempt this as an experiment. Alright, so what I've found is these disposable gas cylinders. Um, we're using argon so that will get rid of the atmosphere. It's an inert gas and that means that I shouldn't get any scale or anything like that um, on my blades. The foil packet that I showed just before protects it in the kiln at high temperature. But um, I've seen a few posts on Instagram, um, in particular um, uh, RJ Martin um, had a, a good one um, showing just how clean his blades get uh, doing this. So I've picked up the cylinder, I've got some pipe and um, a regulator to do that all up um, in Australian dollars it was just over a hundred dollars um, to try out um, and so to put that in perspective if I'm filling up my liquid nitrogen uh, a fill for that is uh, 10 litres and it's about sixty dollars so I'm happy to uh, do that with my blades to get the improved performance with the cryogenic heat treatment um, if I can get them coming out clean and this bottle lasts, you know, for um, a few months uh, or even years, I, I don't see me using very much gas to purge the foil packet. Um, I think it'll be a, a good value add. Um, you don't need all the big, you know, cylinder for welding or anything like that. Um, that costs kind of $700 or whatever. I think this could be a, a really kind of cheap way to get a better heat treat result um, and less clean up post heat treat. So let's put it together and we'll give it a crack um, and see how the experiment goes. All right, we've got it on. Let's connect the hose so that we can put it into the foil packet. All right, there we go. Okay, so I'm just cleaning off the blades before I put it into the foil packet just with some acetone so everything's nice and clean. The foil packet I've pre-prepared with a little crease here and I'm just going to open it up with a pencil so that it's not too sharp. Or difficult to get the blade in there. I'm trying to do it without damaging the foil packet. Okay, so that should be good. I always put the blade with the spine down and the edge up, um, just in the foil packet, and sometimes you need to push it down. 
so it ends with enough room to create the fold there. Now I'm just experimenting here. That should be ready to crease. I'm going to put the tube in and feed it all the way to the end and then just a little bit of gas. coming out. I have no idea how long it will take to purge but I reckon that's probably plenty. And I'm going to seal it as I go past. So we don't waste too much gas. So fingers crossed that's full of argon now and I will seal it up properly and then put it in the kiln. Okay, we've got our foil packet ready. I'm gonna, um, the kiln's all warmed up, so I'm gonna put it in. Um, I'm using the same recommendations from Knife Steel Nerds, Laren, um, for the Magna Cut, uh, 1120 Celsius for 20 minutes. There we go, let's see how it goes in 20 minutes. Okay, we've just quenched the blade. It's the moment of truth to see if uh, we've come out with a really clean finish on there or not. So let's cut this open and have a look. It's stuck a little bit, so I'm going to grab some gloves and some pliers and open it up further. So I've got it out the foil packet. Um, on my first inspection, it did stick a little bit, um, which I don't usually get. But where it wasn't sticking, the finish is much cleaner than what I usually get. I still did get some discoloration around the edges here. Um, uh, but I think that's probably from when I actually just quenched it. It's very mild compared to what um, sometimes I get. Not as clean as I would like, but I think that's probably more the foil packet than anything else. Um, it probably punctured slightly um, on one of these corners, uh, either when it was going in or uh, when I quenched it. So overall, uh, if I can avoid the sticking, and end up with a finish like here rather than where it's stuck there um, or in here then that's going to be a, a great result. I'm going to put this into the liquid nitrogen now and then put the other blade in for uh, heat treatment. So here we go post heat treat. Uh, there's a few little areas you can see through there where the foil stuck. This grey kind of patchiness is where the foil stuck. It's difficult with this light. In this area here, that's almost like it's super clean. It's almost like it's the sanded finish. Um, before it went in for heat treatment. So <clears throat> I think some more experimentations due um, with the next batch, but if I can get them all to come out looking freshly sanded, then that, that's going to be a really good result with this method. So um, yeah, I guess the question is whether it's worth um, worth continuing or if there's a, a 
method that can um, uh, stop that foil from sticking a little bit more um, whether the foil sticks happening in the oven or whether that's happening like at the point of quench and um, this discoloration kind of where there's some sharp corners and stuff whether that's happening uh, like it for this one it's it's less I think than what I have usually been getting so um kind of I, it kind of indicates to me that that's happening uh, when the quench is actually happening so um I think like the film the foil uh, rather is getting pierced at that point when the when it gets quenched between the two plates but just wondering like I I quench um, and I leave it in the foil packet for the entire time uh, for it to get down to room temperature um, so I'm wondering if maybe like an uh, interruption in that process and you know quench till um, it's warm but not um, uh, not completely room temperature um, and then removing it from the packet might um, might stop it from sticking or whatever um, usually with RWL 34 I, I go um, a bit cooler in temperature so I haven't really had any problems with the foil sticking um, I think that's mostly related to kind of that higher temperature needed for magna cut um, but yeah we'll see what happens um, with the next batch and, and I'm going to continue to experiment if I find something new um, I might do another video on it um, anyway I hope uh, anyone that's watched this has found kind of the information useful if you've got any if you've tried using the argon um, to uh, protect the, the blade from getting discolored or anything like that um, and you've got any helpful hints and tips um, let us know in the comments thanks for watching everyone